Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I'm going to share with you guys what it's like being a trucker's wife. How Devin's job affects our family dynamic and our life and basically all of the fun things that involves <laughs> being a trucker's wife. So to start off, I'm going to give you guys like a little snapshot of what a week looks like for us. Devin is gone usually from sometimes Sunday night or Sunday evening, it just really depends, to Friday night. And it really just depends on lots of things. When he's coming home, it depends on when he got loaded, how fast he got loaded, how far away from home he was, what the weather conditions are like. There are just so many variables that go into when he's going to be home. But usually it's like 10 o'clock is like the earliest. That's the earliest that I've ever seen him be home. And even then it was like, holy crap, what are you doing here? <laughs> usually it's later than that. And he will be home all day Saturday and then Sunday. Sunday sometime in the evening or the nighttime. It really just depends. Again, it depends. It depends on how far away the location is that the load needs to go to. It depends on how the weather's like. It depends on what time the load needs to be there. There's just a lot of variables that go into when he leaves and when he comes home. So when Devin is home, our days are very, very busy. So starting off Saturday morning, we have to do things like run errands, pay bills. We have to get some grocery shopping done. We have to get all of Devin's laundry done, which is a task in and of itself because laundry takes a long time, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> it takes a long time to do and he has a lot of it because he's been gone all week. So we have to do that and then we have to somehow figure out meals in between all of that because we got to feed everybody. And it's just constantly going from one thing to another thing to another thing and we are non-stop on Saturdays. This is one of the reasons why I'm not a daily vlogger because my weekends are just so non-stop busy in between everything else that I have to do take care of the house take care of the kids do our errands or grocery shopping and do help him do his laundry and on top of the stuff that he needs to do like sometimes he has to clean out his truck sometimes he has to pack his own food between all of those things it's just too much to vlog on top of that so that is what our weekends look like they are very very busy non-stop however when we get a new vehicle some of that will be relieved because I will finally have a vehicle to drive and I can just do the grocery shopping and the paying the bills. I can do all that on Fridays. So when Devin's home on Saturdays, we can relax a little bit. But for right now, that's what our weekends look like. So during the week, I am basically a single mom. I mean, I'm not a single mom because I'm married. I have a certificate and everything. <laughs> and Devin and I talk on the phone a lot. But I am a single mom because I do everything myself. Like everything. The cleaning of the house, taking care of the kids, setting up appointments everything is up to me. So it does feel like you're a single parent, but you're not really a single parent. Let me just say, this is not Devin's favorite job in the world. He's really good at it because I just know my husband and I know what skills he's good at. Devin has a very like photographic memory. He just remembers things. I will give you a really good example. We went to a pumpkin festival in our area that's about an hour away. The first time we ever went to it, and he had never been to that town before. We have never been to this pumpkin festival before. It was all brand new. We went again the next year and he remembered everything. He remembered where everything was. He remembered where the streets were. He even remembered where we parked last year. I mean, the man is just very spatially smart. So he's good at his job, but he does not like his job because he's so far away from us all the time. He really does miss us and he misses the home time. And the girls really do miss him, especially Carly. Carly has always, since like forever, <laughs> she's always been a huge daddy's girl. She's all about her dad. She loves spending time with him. They even have this cute little handshake that they do. I hope I can vlog it one day. I hope he'll let me because it's seriously so cute. But anyway, even though it's not easy watching the girls miss their dad, we are still able to call him on the telephone because he has a hands-free headset. And sometimes when he's parked, we are able to use Skype. So it's not like the end of the world. We are still able to have a open line of communication. But Carly especially really enjoys it when daddy's home. I talked about this in a live stream. I think it was the last one that I did about my YouTube pipe dream. This is one of them. And I call it a pipe dream because really, what are the odds of this happening? And if it does happen, it'd be great. But what are the odds? Your, your channel has to get really big. And I'm not even at 2,000 subscribers. So 
But anyway, like a really big pipe dream of mine would be for Devin to get his own custom cab and we can just get our own trailer and we can go travel with him. And I can vlog about us traveling and going all over the country as a family. And I just think that would be a really interesting channel. It's something that I would love to do, but that requires so much money that we just do not have right now. We're not even close to having right now, but I would love that because it would be like Devin could have the best of both worlds. He could do the job that he's good at and have that job Job security and he can have his home time too so it's kind of like you can have your cake and eat it too <laughs> but obviously that's not a reality for us it's like what I said it's a pipe dream it's one of those things where it would be really nice for it to happen but if it doesn't it just doesn't. We just live life as it comes to us. And right now, this is our life, and that's perfectly okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all about this lifestyle or anything that I didn't touch on, leave me a comment down below, and I will answer you. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye, guys.